Well, folks, we're blocked. Can't go upstairs. They got it roped off. Bummer, is because it's a beautiful view from up there in the balcony. Well, that's all right. We'll get there again another time. Been there a few times over the years. And head back out here. Out the front door, and there's the church. Law office, pharmacy, doctor's office, paper, blacksmith shop. Here we go. Beautiful little village here in Cooperstown, New York. I love this over here at the newspaper office. Never noticed that before? I never have. There's a door up above in the second story, but how the heck do you get up there? Ooh, it's a trick. And look at that. White door up there that walks out to nowhere. Uh, obviously, that's a storage area, and there's stairs going up to it there, but how did you get out here? There must have been a flight of stairs coming out, either going to the side or out straight at one point. That's pretty neat. There's Bump Tavern. There's the balcony up there you can go and take pictures from. It's pretty neat. I got one last house to take a peek see of here. This yellow house. Forget what the name of this one is. It's one of the old first class, kind of the upper class houses in the village here. 1818, the Moore House. Hubble's Corners, Roxbury, New York, down in Delaware County. Built in federal style, the Moore House was a home of the Jonas and Deborah Moore who are direct descendants of some of the earliest European settlers in Delaware County. Family operated a dairy farm and several other businesses, served in public offices, and helped found the Dutch Reformed Church of Roxbury. As rural New York became prosperous in the mid-19th century, Jonas Moore was more one of the more wealthiest men in Delaware County. The Moore House depicts life in an affluent household in central New York from the early to the mid 19th century. So this is a little wealthier than we were in earlier. A little wealthier of the houses in Delaware County. This little garden here too is neat in the good weather. I'm gonna peek and take a look at these berries, but this has like a maze. When everything's grown up, you kind of walk around. It's like a maze in there. It's pretty cool. Come around to the back side of the house and we got a door. Can't get in, can't get out, no handle. Look at this. Now we'll go through here. This is cool. You go through this thing, and when these bushes are all bushied, you get to go through here, and you're kind of secluded, and it's like a little henge. When you go down this path, and oh, it's a dead end, and you can't go out, so you got to go back, and you got to go back around. And there's a little dead end here. Oh no, I can't get out. Uh, eventually, you can find your way through. It's neat. There we go. Oh, we go through here. I'm gonna get out, and all of a sudden, there's a dead end. Uh, I turn around, and I'm gonna go back. Oh boy, they got me trapped in here now. Boy. Here, I'm gonna get out just. Oh no, it's a dead end. Oh boy. So, like Willy Wonka, you can't go forward until you go back. And we'll get out of here, folks. I promise I'm not gonna get lost. Oh no, there's a fence. Back up. Now we're gonna go out of here. I have had it. We're done. But that's fun. It's fun for kids, especially when there's all those foliage is on these trees. Like I say, the bushes are all bushied. Nice. Very kid friendly up here, very educational. Gives kids and even adults a glimpse of what life was like back 150 to 180 years ago. Can peek in this side of the Moore House though, which is neat. Give you some more idea of what's going on in a first class, you know, upper class type home in the mid, mid 1900s, mid 19th century, the mid 1800s, sorry. Dining room over there, we have the kitchen, the stove there, we got a pie warmer. There's a table, there'd be the living room, sitting room. Door there probably goes upstairs. Hear that clinkity clinking in the background. That guy over there at the blacksmith shop is having a grand old time. We're gonna peek up again in there before we head out here. So I'm gonna head across the street to the blacksmith shop. Farmer's Museum, Cooperstown, New York. There it is, right there, we'll be there in a minute.